Hello, I'm Finn Wakas, the William Quaker Dean at the Zicklin School of Business. And it's my pleasure to welcome you today to the Zicklin Spotlight. Today, we're pleased to have with us Narinda Paul Lumba, distinguished professor in our Department of Management. Professor Lumba has taught with us for over 50 years. And I should add, the department is now named the Narinda Paul Lumba Department of Management, in part because of his wonderful service, but also because of a very generous gift of $3 million that Professor Lumba used to name the department. We're very proud of Professor Lumba and we're delighted to have you with us here today. First, before we talk about your experience at Zicklin, perhaps tell us a little bit about your background, your childhood, and what brought you eventually to the Zicklin School of Business. I was born and brought up in a very small village in India. And we did not have either electricity or running water our sewage system, or anything like that. But we did have a tradition of education. So my father encouraged me to go to school and do well. And I followed his advice. Uh, I graduated from high school. And I fortunately went to an American college called FC College Lahore, where I had the very first experience of being taught by American professors. So that was a good luck for me because that what motivated me to come to America. And I came here as a student in 1949, went directly to the University of Nebraska where I earned two undergraduate degrees, one in mechanical engineering and one in electrical engineering. Then I went to MIT and I received a master's degree in electrical engineering. Then I went to the University of Wisconsin and I got a PhD in economics and management. I'm very, very fortunate that I am here and I have been here now, as you already stated, for over 50 years, 51 years to be exact. I am very grateful that the School of Business has provided me with the opportunity of serving over here our students, our faculty, our community, and everybody else that associated with Baruch. Uh, as a rough calculation, I think I have interacted with some 30,000 students over 51 years. Tell me what prompted you to endow the department. You were very generous with your financial support. What motivated you to do that? About a decade ago, I started thinking, well, I have received such wonderful support and the opportunity from this great college and university. I should do something in return. And I kept on thinking till 2013, I had an opportunity to discuss with the chairman at that time uh, the naming of the Department of Management. And despite my meager resources, <laughs> I was able to somehow muster uh, the courage to, to donate $3 million for naming uh -huh. the department. I appreciate that very much, and I feel that's one of the uh, greatest accomplishments of my life. Well, that, that is truly an extraordinary contribution, and we appreciate it very much. I also understand that you've been giving annually as well uh, to the department. That is correct. In the first week of every calendar year, uh, I donate $50,000. And this money uh, comes uh, as a support fund for the faculty and the students. Uh, I have already donated, in this effort, close to $300,000. And if I g I'm given a little bit more life on this earth, I will continue to do so. And therefore, I'm really looking forward to donating more. Uh, I'm not looking forward to retirement <laughs> <laughs> soon. We, we, so, look, we look forward to having you with us for many, many years to th come thank on you. our faculty, and we appreciate all your support. And you've set a wonderful example for all of us 
and we appreciate everything you've done both in the classroom, through your financial support, through your mentoring of students, through your mentoring of other faculty. Uh, and as I said, we look forward to having you as a part of this school for many years to come. Thank you, Dean Thank you. Kass. I appreciate it. Thank you.